Hi, hi, I'm Andrea. Thank you for listening to this YouTube channel. Go ahead and click that subscribe button because that really is very supportive of <clears throat> myself and all YouTubers. So whenever you're listening to any YouTube channel, just hit that subscribe button. Um, it kind of cheers us on, right? Hit the like button, all of that. Um, thank you so much for listening. Feel free to share this video. And also with any video or anything I do, please know that <clears throat> it may not be for everyone. And that's totally fine. Take it with any workshop class seminar that you may you may attend because it might make sense later. That's the thing. Okay. That's the thing about like getting like intuitive readings and sessions is sometimes it doesn't make sense at all the first time you hear it, but then you have to like think on it. Um, or you something just clicks, like when you are in a meditative state, you know that state right before you sleep, right as you're falling asleep and right as you're waking up is when we're most, our most intuitive. And that's when we get like puzzle pieces, like spirit gives us puzzle pieces then, okay? Um, we have a new, I have a new ring light for my videos, everyone. So we got better lighting, what? Okay, tonight I would like to um, talk to you about pendulums. So I have a pendulum here. This is my pendulum pendulum. So it's a little rose quartz pendulum with like the chakra colors. A friend of mine gave it to me, shout out to Teresa. And so she gave it to me a few years ago and I've kept it since. Now it is a myth. That someone doesn't have to give you a pendulum to make it yours. It, you can just be at a store and be like, wow, I feel drawn to that pendulum. You can be <clears throat> looking online and feel drawn to the pendulum. Like it doesn't have to be gifted to you. If it is great, if not great. However you feel guided to it is how you feel guided to it and how you get it. And that's fine, right? So a few things about pendulums. One is you want to kind of have them around like your energy field. So you open up like a line of communication with the, with the tool, with the divination tool. You want to open up a line of communication with it. So you can sleep with it next to your bed, put it on an altar, put it where you see it every day. Sometimes I just sort of play with mine. I just hold it in my hands like when I'm doing other readings. Um, it kind of helps me focus. It can be like a gemstone, like a metaphysical like gemstone like this, or it can be copper, or it can be wooden, or the beautiful things about pendulums is it can be just like a ring on a chain. Remember, um, <clears throat> we used to see the myths, like the old wives tell, where the woman would could tell the gender of a baby by like doing it over the belly at the baby showers, like they did that years ago. That's basically pendulum work, okay? So we've got, you can connect with your pendulum and what they used to do and with, um, wait to tell a baby's gender is they would say, they would talk to the pendulum and be like, show me my boy. The pendulum's going to swing one way or the other, right? So <clears throat> they're like, show me which way it's going to swing if it's a boy. Thank you. Now show me which way if it's a girl and it's, it shifted, right? It shifted. So that's, and you can ask it yes or no questions too you can say um show me show me my yes okay let your arm still and just say show me my yes and then you say show me my no okay so mine typically is the same every time now some people's change depending on what they ask some people like make a grid and like put numbers chakra colors boy girl months of the year on there be creative with your pendulum like tool right however you want to use it be creative with it now i will say sometimes i do get faults yes is there a false nose with the pendulum here's the key to using the pendulum is that whatever you ask you can't have ego attached to it because your ego is going to kind of push the energy and this is my theory there's millions of theories about pendulums out there but this is just my theory that if you're attached to the yes, it's going to give you the yes that you want, especially if you have big energy, like empaths, healers, light workers. We all have really big energy. Like I have a gigantic energy field, and I know that. I can, I, I can walk up to. Wait, a minute, I think there was like a spirit. There was a spirit. Okay, that was really weird. The spirit was knocking. Okay, hold on. <laughs> 